welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. Okay, so we've got uh, the transmutation card over here. So you have gone through a very, very difficult situation. You can see there's a lot of fire and rising up from that fire. So Phoenix rising from the ashes over here. So you are transforming. Uh, you've entered that particular cycle and you are now re-emerging, um, uh, you know, more powerful than before. And, uh, you know, a lot of self-confidence. You've got Leo ruling this one. Uh, and so it's about, uh, you know, focusing on yourself and uh, having a lot of power in your hand over here. So rising from a difficult situation. Uh, you've got the uh, Nurturance card over here. So uh, this is where you have been focusing a lot on, on your work. You've got Sun in Virgo over there. Uh, so you've been maybe spending a lot of time by yourself, but also being very focused on your career. Now you've got the world, so getting closure uh, of that situation. It looks like you were dealing with a very toxic uh, uh, person. You've got that big snake around uh, Gaia here. So, uh, you know, whoever you have been dealing with, that situation is now over and you are getting closure. Um, so in the past, you've got that initiation card over there. Uh, and this is the, um, uh, it's ruled by um, um, Capricorn here. <laughs> And this is the devil card, uh, and this is about being, uh, you know, dealing with a very, very um, negative, toxic energy, uh, a very manipulative, controlling kind of person. Uh, it could have been a Capricorn, um, but this is uh, the energy that's coming through. This person, uh, you know, uh, really restricted you and really controlled uh, your every thought. It was, it may have even been a very codependent relationship that you were in. And there was a, a lot of fighting, a lot of conflict between you and this person. Like you can see, there's got uh, Saturn uh, ruling, uh, Saturn in Leo over here. So this person controlled, you know, whatever you thought. Uh, they were very restrictive of your personal uh, freedom. And there was a lot of fight that went on. So they come across as the devil, very manipulative, very controlling, but also with that Saturn, very restricting. And that is what you were. And there was a lot of fighting and arguing now it looks like you know you have overcome this particular person because you've got that transmutation card so you know you have uh you know um come out of this particular situation and it looks like it is now over and done with, with that world card so going into the future you've got mother of creativity over here and this is about this is your card it's ruled by gemini so you are getting new insights and you are healing uh you know you can see this flower coming in over here, the third eye being opened here, so getting new insights, getting divine guidance as well. And, uh, you know, a lot of communication, even that throat chakra, uh, chakra is being activated. So uh, this could be divine intervention. This could even be, you know, getting a lot of clarity in your dreams um, and uh, maybe people around you giving you a lot of advice, but you're definitely, uh, you know, lifting yourself out of that situation. And uh, you've been, you know, you've got the isolation card over here. So try not to isolate your, yourself uh, from people um, because, uh, you know, th they are the ones that are going to be able to help you get through the situation. You've got Saturn over there sitting in uh, um, Libra. Um, and, uh, you know, the isolation is the three of um, swords. Uh, the three of wind is the three of swords. So in other words, um, you know, you're very heartbroken. You have, uh, you know, kept yourself away from everybody else. You're trying to deal with this situation. And, you know, maybe this is how the insights are coming in. But also uh, it's caused a lot of unhappiness, um, you know, a lot of pain that you've gone through. So try not to isolate yourself from everybody else. Uh, there are messages coming in for you. Now the universe sends in messages in the form of, uh, you know, people that you meet on a daily basis and even through your dreams, uh, even watching a television program can give you a message, uh, you know, from the other side. So uh, keep your eyes and ears open for that. Um, but don't isolate yourself from people because that is just going to cause more unhappiness. So you are overcoming a very, very difficult situation. Uh, you have got closure now. Things are coming to an end, but just try not to isolate yourself from everybody else. So uh, those are the energies for those two weeks. So I'm just going to draw some cards from the Jane Austen Tarot. Um... I shuffled. I did shuffle this deck before. Um, okay, let's go for it. Mm -hmm. 
So you've got the Knight of Candlesticks over here. And <clears throat> in this particular deck, it's like looking for answers uh, to things that happened uh, that were done, you know, a bit on the shady side. Things that had going, things that were going on behind your back. You've been looking now for the answers to why they happened. So you are searching. Um, now, with the Knight of Candlesticks, usually it's about being defensive. It's about watching your back, uh, you know, about uh, standing your ground. And it's about, you know, using your last reserves of strength to fight this one last battle. So uh, this seems to be where you're at the moment. You are pretty tired of all the problems that have gone through. Uh, but there's still something going on around you that's, you know, it's, it's very sneaky. Uh, and maybe this person is causing um, whoever you're dealing with is is uh, doing things behind your back. And this is draining your energy, really. But you are trying to find the answers. Uh, so you are looking, you are searching, and you are trying to get enlightenment in that particular situation. Now, what's happening with you? You've got that Knight of Cups coming in over there and the Lord of Candlesticks. So, um, you know, the Knight of Cups, an offer coming in for you, and it might be coming in from uh, somebody who's the Lord of Candlesticks. So this could be a fire sign person bringing in, uh, making an offer to you. Uh, you know, and it's going to be some kind of emotional offer coming in. So this particular person, uh, the Lord of Candlesticks, uh, seems to be, um, you know, uh, it could be, a, uh, like I said, it could be a fire sign person. So um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. There's somebody in authority, very dynamic. Uh, you know, they're in charge, they know what they want, they've been through a lot of battles, they may be somebody who likes to travel quite a bit as well, but they're definitely making some kind of offer to you as well. Uh, so there's an emotional offer coming in there. So uh, you've got the Ace of Quills over there, uh, so there was some kind of uh, battle that you fought and won. Uh, it could be a legal battle over there with that Ace of Quills. And it also is that you've, um, you know, you've got a lot of clarity coming in, you, you know exactly what you want, and also, you've cut out the past completely, so that's going on. Uh, you know, you, you're trying, you've you've um, gone through some kind of legal situation that's allowed you to cut the past out. But you're still looking as to why this person is still behaving in such a sneaky way uh, with that nine of candlesticks. You're still very, on, you're very much on the defensive over there. So you've been through a lot of problems, uh, but you've managed to, uh, you know, sever ties with them. Now, you've got somebody who's giving you some kind of advice, some kind of support. It's constructive advice, but also it's advice that helps you get your security back. Um, this could be even in the form of financial help. So you could have gone undergone some legal issue and had a, a lot of expenses, and somebody's giving you a helping hand over there with that six of coins. On your mind, you want things to change. You want the Wheel of Fortune to come in. You want the situation to end. You want to get out there and meet a lot more people. So this is what you are thinking about quite a bit. Uh, so you've got the King of Quills over here, so a legal decision will be made. So, or, or is being made. So, you know, this may be, uh, maybe this Ace of Quills is uh, getting legal counsel or approaching the legal, uh, you know, field for, um, to intervene. So, uh, you know, starting off a court case or sort of starting out, uh, you know, legal proceedings, really, with that ace of uh, quills. And it looks like a, a judgment will be made with this lord of uh, quills, which is the king of um, uh, swords. So uh, a legal decision coming through for you. Usually with that king um, of quills, uh, you know, the, the decision is made in your favor. Now, you've got the hermit card of here, so you are spending a lot of time by yourself. You've, uh, you know, isolated yourself from everybody else as well. You're, you might be studying. Uh, the Hermit card is ruled by Gemini, uh, sorry, by um, Mercury, because, and it's ruled by Virgo. So you're taking on that energy of Virgo where you're, uh, you know, keeping yourself uh, away from everybody else. But it looks like, you know, you might be studying or focusing on your work and focusing on your career and, you know, really not socializing that much. You want to, that wheel of fortune over there, but maybe, uh, you know, your job means, uh, um, has um, meant, and because of you, you know, you might have some financial luck there with that six of coins because this is needing financial help. Uh, it looks like you need to focus on your work and that's what you're doing right now. Now you've got the devil card uh, uh, here. So this person is still trying to control you. And you can see that, you know, from the uh, nine of candlesticks, they're still doing things behind your back. They're still, you know, it's, it's almost like they've got a long arm of control. So they've still got you, uh, you know, uh, they're attacking maybe your confidence. You've got somebody on their knees over there. 
So you haven't quite, uh, you know, overcome uh, their um, influence, really. They might be, uh, you know, working with the people that you're, you know, you're around you or the people that you all used to have as common friends and using them to manipulate you. But whatever it is, uh, this person is coming across as somebody who is still very, very manipulative. Now you maybe you were you want closure of that situation, maybe you you know you had wanted uh, um, um, this relationship you know to go well and you wanted um, this is in your hopes you had wanted that perfect life and that perfect marriage or that perfect uh, you know uh, relationship and that has not quite worked out. So right now it looks like you want to end the cycle. You're hoping to end the cycle and to move forward with that world card. Maybe even hoping to travel. Uh, the Four of Quills, you've got the Three of Teacups over here and the Empress of, over there. So the Four of Quills is once the legal decision is made, uh, you know, uh, you're going to need to take a little bit of a break because all of the stress and carrying all these burdens with that Nine of uh, uh, Candlesticks, fighting all those battles, um, you know, uh, seems to have taken its toll on you. You might be experiencing some kind of stress-related health problems as well. And even all this work that you're doing, the study, and you can see this girl's got a lot of books on that um, uh, side table of hers. And here she's, you know, involved with a lot of uh, books. So, you know, you might be studying at the moment and going through this emotional problem, and it's now having an effect on you. Uh, you look very stressed out. Maybe there's insomnia going on as well. Maybe you're burning the candle at both ends, you know, trying to, to deal with emotional issues as well, trying to deal with, uh, you know, study or education as well. And it's having its effect on you. So you do need to get a little bit of holiday, a little bit of rest, and you need to heal from the situation. You need, need to take some time out. You may need to socialize uh, quite a bit. So get get out there with some friends and have have a good time with this Three of Cups. So go, and go back, meet your friends, get your mind off things and that's what this card is advising and you know you will get everything that you want with that empress card uh, this is abundance coming to you whatever you are expecting will come to you and it looks like there might be a new relationship that is on its way as well uh, soon to come so uh, you know all of this is going to pay off but try and get some relaxation you look very very stressed out uh, and you need to get together with some friends go out let your hair down have some fun and, you know, don't worry because you are going to achieve everything that you want. So a legal decision coming in. It looks like there's somebody is coming in for you with that um, Lord of uh, Candlesticks over here. And with that Empress, you can see the relationship coming in the background over there. So, you know, something is going to be coming in for you. An offer is going to be made uh, for you. And you're going to get everything that you want um, out of it. So uh, don't despair, uh, but do take a holiday. Now, uh, I'm just going to draw uh, some cards uh, from the Archangel Power Tarot, and that's for the Oracle read. Huh. So you've got the Lover's card over here. Uh, this is a love spread. So uh, this is about a new love coming in for you that's going to be very committed. Or, uh, you know, it's about making choices about whether you want what you want to do for the future. So it seems like, uh, you know, that is definitely coming in, uh, a love relationship, and also about... Uh, you having to make a choice about how you want to proceed forward. Now, you've got the Ace of Gabriel, which is the Ace of Rods over here. So a gift of passion, opportunity, <coughs> excuse me, and inspiration. A chance to do something amazing, a sense of wonder. So, you know, with the Ace of Rods, it's about, you know, a sexual relationship coming in, a, a new passionate relationship coming in. So, you know, you're going to have to make some kind of choice. It looks like since this is sitting next to the Lover's card, whatever starts with you is going to be very passionate, uh, very physical relationship, and that's coming in for you. And it's going to end in, in a long-term commitment. You've got the Magician over here, so you can manifest what you want in life. What you need will mag magically appear successful beginnings so it looks like this brand new relationship is going to be uh, starting for you you know it's going to be a committed relationship and you are working on manifesting it right now and it's going to come your way so like I said with the Empress card everything that you want is going to get uh, in your way you might be going through a little bit of uh, stress and hard times right now you've got that uh, manipulation going on by that devil card so previous relationship or somebody around you that's still controlling you but it looks like there's a judgment that is going to come in that's going to sever all that of that and allow you to proceed forward into a relationship that's going to be long term uh, and it's going to be uh, you know it says it's going to appear as though my by magic so that offer is coming in for you 
Uh, so just hold, hang in there, especially with a nine of uh, candlesticks, you do need to hang in there, but also watch your back and don't be, uh, you know, manipulated by the lies and deception of this person that you have dealt with before. You need to cut ties with them and move forward. So I hope this reading has resonated with you. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Leave me some comments if it hasn't. Thank you so much for watching. Take care now.